Yes, my wonderful people, welcome to J Progress Entertainment again. And my people know we get to work around here, my people. We are on our way to 35,000 subscribers. And people, please go over to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. But anyway, my peace, we can mix up the gravy right now. Take the meat off of the bone and get straight to work. Right now, my people, me talk to you. I don't know how Jamaica I will come out of that one here. The Jamaica judicial system has been destroyed completely and why the jamaica people them not have no more faith in the justice system in jamaica the jamaica people them feel like them biased the jamaica people them feel like right now they tell you the truth the people in jamaica right now the citizens of jamaica are thinking that 50 percent of the population in prison in jamaica are innocent people because of how oh, corrupt they think that the judicial system is in Jamaica and unfair and biased the system is. Why do they come to this conclusion all of a sudden? Well, I am going to tell you guys now. First thing first, the DPP who was supposed to step down at a certain time in Jamaica had them look a double double and wanted to stay on longer. Until it blasts up in the media, the opposition come into, come into action and attack the, 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 the leading party and this and that. And when you check it out, the DPP parlor Llewellyn has to be removed. And they have to put an acting DPP in position. No, first breach because they said that was a breach of the constitution by doing that. Wanting Paula Llewellyn to stay on for X and X time anyway. But the big, big nail now in everything, we drive the nail in the coffin now, we concrete everything, is the Vice Cartel case. The Vice Cartel case exposed so much things with Jamaica judicial system. The Vice Cartel case exposed the world, the entire, the every little crack, every little scrape, every little mark, Every little hole in a Jamaica justice system, Vice Cartel case has exposed that. What did it take? All it take was a man with money who is before the court of the law right now and fighting the courts and using his money to pull them all over the place, let a lot of things get exposed. With that being said, me I go jump in a little fine writing here so and make uno know what me talk about. The government pays hefty sum for services UK law firm to UK law firm in cartel appeal case. That was the case where cartel bring to privy council in the UK. Jamaica legal strategy for costly privy council case under scrutiny. So of course Jamaican people are not happy. The taxpayers are not happy because all this money which you guys haven't heard as yet, but we'll stay tuned now. Go hear how much money. All this money that the government had to pay for the services of the law firm in the United Kingdom, right? Could have been used for better purpose in the country. But guess what? It was so much money, and this burden was the taxpayers' burden, and they are not happy. They are literally not happy, right? So I'm going to break down things a little bit more for you guys so you can understand as to the scope of the costs which Jamaica had to burden for Vice Cartel being at the Privy Council in the UK and for them have them persecution representing their side in the UK also to try and, do, and put Cartel where they say it needs to be. All right. The government of Jamaica spent 185,659 pounds right for the services of the British legal team that represented Jamaica in the Vice Cartel appeal before the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in the United Kingdom. So guys, do you have any idea how much is 185,000? 659 
pound equivalent in Jamaican dollars, people, it is a whopping, it is a whopping 36.2 million Jamaican dollar. That is what it costs the Jamaican government to seek the services of their legal team in, in the UK to represent them in the, in the, at the Privy Council in Vice Cartel Appeal case. Taxpayers had earned cash. Yes, man, taxpayers' money. And you think of that alone? Official data, right? Has been revealed that the government already ordered by the JCP to pay the legal costs incurred by Cartel and his three co accused. So, not only, so you see the 36.2 million with them pay, where the government of Jamaica pay already for services of the British legal team that represent Jamaica in Vice Cartel appeal case in the Privy Council. 36.2 million but also the judicial committee of the privy council of all the jamaica government that they also need to pay vice cartel and his co-accused legal fee as well how much that come to it can be another 30 odd million jamaican dollar where it will come from taxpayers money right so, legal experts say the appeal before Jamaica Apex Court could easily cost taxpayers 150 million in lawyer fee. Oh my goodness. You know how much 150 million Jamaican dollar could have do for the country? Could I do for poor people? Could I do for the same taxpayers them who pay them tax? To get back a service like good road, water, this, that, and all these things. People, mm -mm. me tell you no. Right now, there were so many things happening in the Vice Cartel case where, me say, right now, the Jamaica people, them not have no faith in the government. Them not have no faith in the judicial system. You understand me, I say? Because first and foremost, them realize, say, the other day in the retrial hearing, that even the judge had to ask them, why do you guys are so affixed on Vice Cartel case when you have other cases there that you have pushed on the back burner, which has been there before Vice Cartel case, which has gone to appeal court before Vice Cartel case? What it is about Vice Cartel? What it is about this man? Well, no willing to spend one hundred and fifty million dollar per Vice Cartel per one man, and then you could accuse them per one case. The judge even asked them, so now I'm going to run the government bankrupt. The government have the money for PFE. Do you know what the prosecution said? Anywhere the government will find the money from them, they find it because they have to send vice cartel to prison. How does that sound to you? Don't that sound like prejudice? Don't that sound like there's a personal vendetta? Don't that sound that it is outside of the legal scope now and them just want to make sure they can't tell DEA, DEA prison? People, right now, this will happen in a vice cartel case. Mash up the whole legal system in a Jamaica. The credibility of the Jamaica judicial system, the legal, the legal system in a Jamaica has been destroyed completely. It has been destroyed. And why? Because they have a personal vendetta, it would seem, against one man and his co-accused, Vice Cartel. People are even turning now. People who are in support of the government to say, yes, send Vice Cartel to prison. No, they have turned a blind eye to it because they say, no. This is costing the government too much money. And they are willing to spend any amount of money while people did their debt are... are Hungry, no live nowhere. You know what it took the other day? It took a YouTuber, Mr. Beast, for God, Jamaica go give a house. And if you ever see the people, them when they give a house to, they were living in some deplorable condition. 
You understand me, I say, but you know how much that the 150 million Jamaican dollar could have do when they must spend on cartel because of whatever their personal vendetta is. And then it's not that who cares what really happens to cartel then. But cartel is just one person. Imagine co accused, that's just one case. And this is what the, the judge asks. What about all those other people waiting for their appeal? Waiting for their retrial? Are they, are, are they not important? Are they not suffering there in prison as well? And want justice to be served? So what? It only depends on one person for justice to be served and that's vice cartel. What about everybody else who they are prison right now? Who could be innocent? That is the big question. I don't think the Jamaica judicial, the Jamaica legal system in, will ever, ever gain back its credibility. It has been damaged and this looks like it's going to be permanent. Believe when J Progress tell you that. One J Progress entertainment, me people. Believe the man. You not have to ask nobody nothing. And nobody not have to tell you nothing. And just one J Progress entertainment. Believe.